I just love the soundtrack. It's so good. Oblivion is such a such a such a good game soundtrack. I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna enjoy it for a minute. I'm all sore from going to the gym today. Alright. So. I'm just gonna try to be more relaxed for the stream and not be as, uh. Maybe, uh. Probably not going to be as highly energetic as I normally am in terms of how I stream. I tend to be very, uh, lucky now. Turn this camera so long, give me some extra light. Yeah, I, I tend to be a lot more excitable and stuff like that, but I'm, I'm tired. I, I've gone to the gym, I worked out, walked back. Not in me. So, I'm just going to listen to some good old Elder Scrolls 4 music, and uh, I'm gonna get started, so... Uh, so I'm gonna the capture. And why don't we do a white portal here, because I want to show off. Oh, well, actually, it'd probably be better to do this instead, just do a new 2D animation thing. This will give me my white board. Break out my tent battle here. this thing all plugged up. Come on. There we go. Doing that thing with the USB where you try to stick it in and it won't go in. The quantum state of the USB driver, you, you don't know whether it's upside down or not. Then again, right here. There we go. My back's all sore from uh, walking and going to the gym and doing stuff. So. Some of those machines are rough, man. Even if uh, the little padding on the bars. Uh, Alright, so. What I wanted to do, uh, I wanted to do. Oh, hey, Nora, how you doing? So one of the things I wanted to do, I wanted to do some... I got sound issues. Like, is my audio bad? I'm feeling pretty low. That's for one. I realize my audio is a bit low on my end. What's up? Voice is quiet. Is that better? I guess I should have checked my... Um... My uh, equalization. Huh. Wow, that's a new feature. First time chat. Huh. Weird. I guess that's the first time you've chatted in this thing. I don't know why it's telling me that, but whatever. Hello, permanent resident. Alright, so the thing that I wanted to do... Uh, before I got on the stream, I was uh, compiling a list of things. Let's see here now. So I wanted to, based off of a D and D race, I wanted to do uh, a Kenku, which is a, a bur which is a crow person or a raven person. I wanted to uh, do a sort of bard character. Oh, excuse me. So I was sort of compiling a whole bunch of things and whatnot. So I'm going to start throwing them into the D, uh, not in the D, the, the uh, whiteboard, which I will name now. Come here. Alright, I also don't want the world to be this bright white. I know it's just for that, but I can go here and there we go. So I should be able to still view the images in this mode, right? Yeah. Oh, that's... Hold on, that was the camera backdrop. There we 
go. Try that again. Yeah, there we go. They're just empties, so we'll just throw a few in here. These are just to uh, keep every, just to get everything all into one sort of screen so I can look at them as they are. Also, sorry if I'm not able to read your me read messages at the moment because I'm covering my second monitor. I should get a third monitor just out of principle. I'd probably put it over here on the um, on my right, right up, like a like a ten inch screen or something like that. Just something, some kind of small, small little thing. I think that would be interesting. So I'm just gonna throw a whole bunch of these things in here. Just get an idea. I did a whole got a whole bunch of raven raven heads because I saw that there were some there was a bit of deviation in terms of like some ravens have like really big eyes, some of them have like white eyes. So I'm just kind of checking out what all stuff we got going on here. Come on, bring that in. Ah, oh, fuck. That's a that's a web p. I can't I can't bring that in. God damn it. I have to edit that, and convert it to a JPEG or something. Of course. And that one's JPEG. There we go. Right. Yeah. The thing is about WebP, I they're really efficient. Like they're super super efficient in terms of their storing capacity from what I saw. I think it's more that it's like a new format that's just not widely supported, but it's really, really efficient. Hold on, let me let me let me see. Let's see if I can whoopsies, not save. Export as so JPEG, I'm pretty sure, is a lossless file. I'm too used to watching your videos. I just tried to skip ahead, see how it turned out. You're going to have to get the time machine for that, my friend. All right. What's that email? Rush? Rush is a lull? Oh, it's a, it's a lull. Okay. I, I couldn't parse what that email was. I, I wasn't sure what that was. All right. So let me let me take a look. Okay, so we have on one end the JPEG, which is a lossless file. Uh, it's a um, it's a very it's not as it's not a high quality image in terms of like a PNG, which I think is lossless. It's a JPEG is perfect and flawless. Yeah, sure. So JPEG, uh, eight hundred no, okay, six hundred thirty three kilobytes. 457 kilobytes so yeah based on that i'd imagine that uh the the web lossy <laughs> i i don't know why i laughed at lossy I, I thought, I think, isn't PNG lossless? I think it's a lossless file, right? Hey, welcome, Ender, Ender Electrics. All right, let's get that, get that into the, um, whiteboard. There we go. Ah! All right. Uh, what are we doing today? I'm going to be doing, uh, something called a Kenku, which is a, a race from the uh, D and D world, which is a anth which is uh, an anthropomorphic uh, raven or crow person. It's really close to lossless, but it does lose compression to keep track of repeats and stuff. It's pretty close. It's pretty close to loss lossless. I think is is a tiff lossless. My first ever D and D character was a Kenku druid, which seems uh, like a like such a bizarre choice for me now. Tiff is lossless. Okay, cool. All right, so just to show off what a Kenku is, let me see if I can... Okay, I'm bringing a Kenku. Let's hope we don't get any kind of um, weird results. Because uh, if you... Uh, hello, para Parasita. Parasita. Right, I'm going to take my glasses off. So yeah, we have a crow person. The problem is, is when you look up any kind of um, 
animalistic, like anthropomorphic character type thing. You always end up at some point or another with a weird, with a weird results if you continue to scroll uh, further and further down. Glad your media arts degree is getting some use. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of the plague doctor because of the the whole bird head. But yeah, this is just to give you an idea, kind of along the lines of what Kenkus look like. They're uh, they're like crow people. All right. Now, something that was considered plague knight. Let's see here. All right, got my thing going. It's kind of where where is that? Ah, oh, thank you. Uh, I can't read that so well. Tatty gum cancer. Ugh. That is unfortunate. Oh, not vertex paint, not that one. Weight paint? No. Draw. Ugh. The nerve. Alright, so one thing that I was thinking of in terms of um, the the nature of the character is kind of having to, to decide how the hands are going to be and some stuff like that, so I was thinking... It'd be basically like um, bird talons or whatever. So we'd have... Whoop. Give me some full strength. Bigger. Come on. Bigger. Okay. So probably... I, I'm not very proficient with drawing. I'm not a... I don't really draw. I'm more of focused in the 3D arts, so... If my, my arts are, uh... My handwriting... Hey, my handwriting is really bad. So I don't have very good, like, finger coordination to begin with. I think that's also a symptom of having ADHD. I, I've read that somehow ADHD and, um... Hand-eye coordination don't go together. I don't know how or why... But apparently, that's the case. <laughs> no idea if that's true or not. But if it, but if that is the case, it would make sense because uh, my handwriting is fucking awful. So essentially, what I would do. Something along these lines. I was just about to say uh, similar, and I never got tested. Yeah, so I know I know Nora has ADHD because she had alluded to taking Adderall past 3 p.m., and that was an interesting experience, apparently. Don't know if you mind being outed about that, but... So something along these lines, we'd have claws like that, and then there's like... Like one going out that way. <laughs> Prior to ADHD or yeah. Yeah, something along the lines of that, where it's an actual claw. Hold on, let me just fucking Bam. Something like that. I think that would that'd be for the the claw. I think that'd be interesting. Because a lot of them I saw that they, are depicted with like actual like hands I figure not nah, bam I should really book a test but I keep neglecting to do it all right I got tested as a kid because I was a fucking rambunctious little shit all right so that's enough of that so let's uh let's do a little bashing here so I was wanting ah. So I was thinking I would do a cloak kind of like this. Oop. I think. Hmm, actually. Is that behind? Oh, I think it's on level of. Okay. So what I can do is I can just take this and just bring it forward a bit. There we go. I was complaining to my psyche. Uh, 
Psycho Bell never finishing any of my pro art projects and he just left us his. Well. Yeah. I was working on the Axolotl and I was kind of like, I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to use it for anything and I don't really, I didn't really like it that much so I just like, meh. I did what I did with it. That's where I, that's why I kind of stopped and move on to this thing because I I, I kind of liked this idea much better. So I was doing an axolotl, uh, kaiju thing, and I was like, eh, eh, nah, I wasn't feeling it. All right, so let's talk about this. So in terms of design and what I want him to wear, I'd want him to wear something along the lines of that. I kind of like the color. Uh, ah, crap. I'm trying to get my <laughs> pen tablet to work. I'm trying to get it working. I'm trying to figure out what this second button does. I could have sworn if I held it and like moved, I can pan it around, but I can't pull and do whatever. Yeah, I ended up making that axolotl a little bit too cute for what I what it was supposed to be of being a kaiju. Uh, it also looked like a sock puppet, which uh, I didn't really care for, so I was like, eh. I'd probably have to do a lot of re re reduct, you know, remodeling and changing some stuff. So yeah, if we're doing a cloak like that, I'd probably have the hood down and I'd have have one of these caps. That's kind of what I gave him for. And I think I'm gonna give him a bunch of white to offset with the uh, the black feathers. Drawing on a tablet without a screen is very difficult. Yeah, yeah, it is. Hey, Branson, how you doing? All right. Or what I might do is I might give him a cloak and no hat, and then I'd give him like a little... little feather sticking off the top of his head. Maybe. That's a little bit too straight, I think. an idea of course if I, I do that I could also just put it in the hat I mean the hat already has a feather based on these but you know no need to stick a feather in a hat you just right in your head whatever all right I think I've had enough delineation let's start a new scene there we go oh jeez Well, I don't know if I'm going to need this for a while. I like to uh, use it to draw around on the whiteboard and sort of come up with ideas, but don't really need it at the moment. Wrap the wire up and uh, put that away. Something that I have, I, I, don't know, I think I unplugged it because I think I, I thought I w there was like extra noise coming from it. Uh, I have an auxiliary cord. And uh, I have a, a mixer with a whole bunch of extra um, audio ports. I, I thought it would be funny that I could uh, use my phone as a um, as as a sort of soundboard where I could um, tap things on my phone and play sounds. Require me to download sounds though, so I don't know if I want to do that. All right, let's give myself a. Layout workspace. There we go. Now I'll just delete these. There we go. Yeah. Try not to smack my microphone around. Yeah, let's give me a shading as well as a UV editing space and a. Texture paint. We'll have, we'll have a texture paint one as well. So yeah, in terms of the um, uh, rigging tutorial series, I'm trying to get out a script, like a, a, a fleshed out script as best as I can uh, before, like every day. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to finish up the IK leg script 
the spine, and then I'm going to move on to like the final video, which is going to deal with um, custom bone shapes and like customizing the rig to make it look good. So I got three more videos to write, and then I have then I'll be down to the uh, voice voice voicing stuff. So that's where I'll be. All right. Yep. Let's get started here. So I always tend to start. You know what? Let's not do that yet. Let's take this and subdivide it. Smooth it and then subdivide one more time. Yeah. And on top of that, I added a podcast and uh, record and manage audio. So uh, I'm a little busy. A little busy. which the uh, fourth episode of that uh, podcast came out today on my channel for um, it's an actual play Call of Cthulhu podcast. Where is that at? Knives and da, 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 da. mirror. There it is. What? What is happening there? <laughs> right. Let's... I made a fucky wucky here. There we go. As I as I go, I tend to I've tended to uh, gravitate towards higher and higher resolution stuff, I, I find. Okay, which way is it being mirrored? Okay, there we go. All right, I'm gonna head to that whiteboard. give myself an idea for how heads should be shaped. Okay, so the eyes are somewhat forward for a bird. They tend to have them on like the side of their head if they're like more of a prey type bird, but it seems they're kind of somewhat forward. Like that. where the bill would go? I don't know. Take another look. Yeah, yeah, I think that's where the bill could go. Damn it, I keep misclicking. <laughs> work however I think I'm gonna have to do this hey how you doing Xan Xan uh, no let's not do that there there How are you going for the feathers? Uh, I'll I'll get to the I'll get there when I get there. All right, I need to use matte caps so that way I can see what I'm nope, not X-ray cavity and oh, give me wireframe.
go. Let's see. Let's get some sharpness in here. That's probably not going to be the line where the bill's going to be. Bill's pretty sharp too, ain't it? Yeah, pretty sharp. That's not gonna be the line. idea let me just like place like let me just place an eye here or whatever uh that's a bit big Obviously, these are not going to be the final product, but I just want to get an idea where the eyes should go. God, it's flipping me all around. It's always the very beginning of the project where I just feel super self-conscious about my modeling. It's like, oh, this doesn't look good. Ow. Oh. But hey, you just know that uh, it's not going to look good for a while. It's going to take a while for it to get there. Okay, I think right there is probably a good placement for where the eyes will go when I get there. So I'll just like separate them for now just to... Know that when I'm there. I just rename some stuff too. I'm not gonna use like actual eyes, like uh, spheres when, for this when I'm modeling. I'm, it's gonna be a part of the model. I'm just gonna use UV wrap. I I, I kind of just don't want to do like actual mesh for the eyes, like a like a sphere. I want to just uh, use texture mapping or whatever. And move the eyes that way. There we go. Let's rename him. We don't got a name for him yet. So he's just gonna be then. If anyone wants to bring, if anyone wants to throw it throw their hat in the ring and name this character, feel free. There we go. This raven has a that raven. This crow has really big eyes. I wonder if it's like a younger, younger bird or something. Makes me wonder. All right. Oh, I'm <laughs> grabbing the eyes. That's why. Why aren't those working? I'm in the wrong place. Why are you still selected? Fuck off, now you're making me angry. There we go.
go. We'll give him a bit of a brow like that. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere, I think. Of course, we'll need to get the bill finished here in a bit, just to... I could probably do that now. this on the X just to squish it this way a little bit. Swap that back to global. Excuse me. Extrude it down one more time, like that. I gotta get that shape right. Take a look at the whiteboard again. <laughs> uh, it looks like a hummingbird. I don't know. I might have made his beak a bit too wide. I don't know. Wait, hold on. Ah, found an internal face that ain't supposed to be there. Like I'm making it maybe a bit too wide. <sighs> I 
Let's get some sculpting in here, maybe. From this side, I gotta look. Okay. Hello. I'm doing pretty good. A bit tired, but other than that, all right. Hmm, that's pretty good. Where would the nostril on this thing go? Up near the top, right? Like closer to there. I don't even know if I visually see any areas with nostrils. Man, they have to have them, right? What are you making as a whole? I'm making a Kenku Bard. I thought it would be a fun thing to try, so I, uh, I'm going about doing that. There really isn't any area that I see that would have, uh, like, holes in the... Um, build for like, like what would be a nose unless it would be like way up there that there is a good place to have a have some sharps as well as maybe following that all the way down there It was the nostrils are the short feathers on the beak. So it'd be like right in here, right? I'd imagine so, right? They'd be covered. Yeah. So if they're being covered, do we really need to model it? Hmm. I don't know. Let's experiment. Control, no, control, there we go. Just, whoa. <laughs> Just did a texture it, yeah, you're right. Oh, who is that? Leo Fi Oh no, I missed it. I couldn't read it in time. There was time now. Where did- where is my Twitch? There it is. Oh Jesus, I still don't know where that is. Thank you, person who followed me. I- I lost it. Sorry. I don't even know where my- my, um... I don't even know where my thing is, like the, um... I, I, I'm, I'm, I've lost my train of thought, I'm sorry. I've completely lost it. I think that's pretty good. Have you ever tried ZBrush? It is an amazing piece of software. Oh my god, is that a Yume Nikki background? Yes, yes it is. Would you like to take a better look? 
one second. There you go. Do you recognize it? It's Mural World. There's no way anything's getting close to ZBrush. I've never used ZBrush, although I'm curious. While I'm here, I might as well uh, save as, uh, where am I? Uh, Blender Projects, is this it? No, it's E Drive, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, Blender 3D Projects, Models. I haven't touched that one in a very long time. I should go back to that. So cool, I saw you made Matatsuki's bedroom. Are you playing some sort of project? Eh, maybe. Uh, yeah, let's go with Kenku. Kenku.blend. Oh, thank you, Chase. One, two, three, four, one. Oh, Jesus. One, two, three, three, two, four. Z-brush. Oh, God. Oh, boy, Z-brush. Everyone's coming in. It's probably because I'm being a lot more consistent with my streaming. I, last time, when I... When I uh, past several months i had been like oh, i'll stream and then i never streamed for extra few months you did a yumi nikki piece and posted it on twitter recently right yeah yeah i did i love your personality and your art thank you i mean your interactions with stream Fuck my personality, I guess. Just worry about the interactions. I guess that's what you're saying. That was pretty spoopy. Good stuff. Alright, once we get that... Alright, merge those. And I think... Are you going to rig and animate the crow as well? Eventually. If I can... Get it done. Alright. I think the way to do this... I kind of want to just extrude like that, but that's... Mm. <laughs> I wonder if it's possible. Okay. Ah! Is that what a crow sounds like? I wonder if it's possible for Microsoft Voice. Have you done your rig tutorial yet? Have you played Delta Rune? I'm trying to make Spamton. Everyone's making Spamton, ain't they? He's, he's like the new big memer. I lost Raffle. Get fucked. Okay. I, I haven't even played the original Undertale. My my nephew bought it for me, and I probably should play it at some point or another. I just never did. I really should, because he really likes that game. Okay. Yeah, that's the shit. Okay, okay. I think that's pretty good. <clears throat> Did you own a PS1 back in the days? Yes, uh, I played Spyro and then got violently sick. Uh, Spyro uh, gives me uh, motion sickness and it makes me want to die. Uh, what is your favorite game to play? I had Frogger. I never had Metal Gear. Um, I don't know what would be my favorite game to play. Uh, I think I played the Harry Potter PS1 game. That was fun. Uh, what else did I have? 
Oh no. Have you played Dino Crisis? No, I haven't. I also suggest Amori. Oh yeah, Amori, I've heard of that one. That's Amore. seam clear sharp there we go all right we got an internal for the mouth hey how you doing zombizzle there's an actual joke about that song in the game wow i i must be prophetic to have uh, done that That's interesting. Um, merge at last, and then just pull it back. There we go. I'm finding that I tend to err towards more along the lines of a um, PS2 graphics instead of PS1 nowadays, simply because uh, maybe I just want a little bit more spice in my models, you know? All right, well, I got the bird head. I think that's pretty damn good. I pull, maybe I can pull a little bit more on the cheeks. Or I can make it more gaunt, maybe. If I made it more gaunt, that might make him look older, I think. I don't know. Everything's pretty good. And if I were to add a feather to his head, I would do it like this. I'm gonna take a plane. I'll just shrink it down like that. Something along those lines. Which way do we want it to go? Like that. Ooh, not that. How do I turn that on? There we go. And where is it? Smooth? Where is smooth face? There you go. Think considering since this top is the that, that area right there is the top. Let me flip those. There you go. Bird. Hey Justin, how you doing? And basically what would happen is when we texture this, when we I, I could oh fuck I could show it off right now. Let me just um let me find a just just get some kind of like feather texture or something. I'm gonna get a suit. No, let me just get. 
I'm, I don't know why, but I'm getting a niggling suspicion about Googling something that I might get something wrong. Okay. You ever have a feeling that if you search something, like just a fear that you're going to search up something innocuous and you're just going to get smut? I, I'm afraid of that as a streamer. That's what I'm afraid of. All right. Um... Because you never know. You might type in the special keyword and get something back that's uh, not kosher. Uh, I think that visually might work. Let's just save. Will this save as a PNG? WebM. WebPN. Okay. Uh, I'll save. I, I can just... Oh, uh, what the hell? No. 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 Mm. We'll just copy the image, it's fine. How is everyone doing, by the way? I uh, went to my local coffee shop, Roscoe's, which is a uh, hipster paradise. It really is, it's a... Why, why, why do you have to say these things? Why did you have to say that? You could have gone this entire stream and not said bird tits. Is it, did you want this? Bird tits. Can't sleep watching your stream, so it's pretty all right. I'm sure. I'm sure the um, bird tits doesn't help. <laughs> okay. Let's do. Oh, jeez. I don't know if that'll work. Okay. If I do color alpha, color to color. Where is it? Color to alpha. So we do white to that. And then I do uh, trans. Uh, what be? Threshold? That's alpha threshold. There you go. Oh, it just. That's nice. It just makes it black. Great. Great. Needs more step back, del slap back delay. I don't know what these effects do. I'm on, I'm on effect nine. I don't, I don't know what that means. All I know... It's some variant of Echo. That's all I can tell you. Uh, whoa. Hold on. I gotta give it some alpha. Uh, add alpha channel. Bang. There we go. Ah! Perfect. Great. Uh, crop to selection... And then we'll export that as a PNG. Recently used. Uh, oh god. How many effects do you have? 99. On a scale of 1 to 10, where do you see yourself as a generalist artist? 69. Uh, yeah, about a 6 to 9. I don't know. I, I cannot rate myself. I refuse, personally. I, I, I define my... Um, I define my skill based on other reactions to mine. Like, to, to, to do that, to, to, to rate myself, I would have to compare myself to others, and I don't want to fucking do that. I don't want to compare myself to these other lowly artists. <laughs> I'm a 10 out of 5. Have you ever made some draw someone drop their draw? Can I get your reaction to mine? Sure, send it, I guess. I don't know if um I think you could send links on mine. I can't remember. You're, I'm gonna he's gonna send me a link and it's gonna be just I can't nothing I can show on stream. All right, where the fuck was I? Oh, Jesus. Uh, Blender Project 3D, and new no, models, and Kenku, that's what it was. <laughs> Feather, oh, what the hell? All right, now with that, done what we can do so i can demonstrate this better 
All right, let's just add a new. Well, we'll do a diffuse texture, open the feather. Alright, I know. I'll just select all those and then drag it over. Bam. Oh, the feather's upside down. Nice. There we go. I don't really show off my art a lot. Not to people in public, just because. I, it, it, it's not like it comes up organically in any conversation, you know? And most of the friends that I you know, have are people who know that I do are anyway. So. It's not done but here. Uh, give me a second just to make sure I'm not about to get trolled. One second. Oh, wow. Alright. It's always a safety precaution. You never know. Because, you know, I could have, uh, Second, I could have always been received the uh, the good old fashioned. Yeah, you know, I could have clicked the link, and I was like, oh, oh, well, what's this artist made? You know, and then I click it, and it's just, you know, you never know. I could always get that, but uh, to show off what they sent. Oh no, I've lost it. There we go. Is this sculpted? One second. Where did it go? There we go. So was this sculpted? It's a pretty good face. Your eyes may be a bit, a little bit close together, but from ZBrush, nice. That's not what that that software is. Yeah. So this was done by sculpt. Uh, I don't really sculpt. Uh, that's just me. I like to poly model. But maybe that's just because I'm a crazy person. How long have you been making models? By the way, your tutorials helped me so much. Uh, I'm pretty new to Blender. Time to still oneself. Uh, ZBrush is super hard to learn, by the way. I'm sure. <laughs> Alright, so you've posted a Twitter thing. Whoop. Ah, oh yeah, Bone bro bo uh, Bone Broth Games. Yeah, I figured that's who you were. We're at, welcome to the art art section of the art art stream. I'm just gonna show off um, this person. They sent me this Bone Broth Games. Check them out. Hey, if it's not a problem, I'm showing too. Yeah, why not? I'll do one more. I'll do one more. Yes, yeah, I'm showing off people's shit. Oh, you did that one. I saw that, I think. Does this have music to it? No. Yeah, I saw this one. It's pretty good. All right, go back to that. We'll go back to streaming the actual thing. All right, back to the console capture. All right, so once we plugged in the feather, we're gonna have to set it up so that way it actually is transparent. So, transparent, uh, mix shader, I think that goes on top, mix it by alpha, and then I have to, of course, set it to use transparency, so we would set that to alpha clip. Yeah, just like that. And then we could, just for now, just set this to like a dark color like that.
Yeah, I think what we would do, we would use... Uh, let, can I select by a sharp? There we go. There we go, assign that. I think this would be a bit rougher. But that's specular, there you go. Oh no! Of course. There we go. That's pretty good. We sub D subdivide? No, I don't intend to subdivide it now. <laughs> it's our stream now. PS1 style is so fun to make. I would say that what I'm doing is more PlayStation 2. It's too high poly for what would be considered PlayStation 1. But it's equally as fun. It's you know low low resolution. I, I like to go for a hybrid of um the uh, PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2. I like the high, high, higher quality models with, like, scummier textures, I think. I think that's pretty good. You could also give this fella a tongue. I don't think that would be that big of a problem. I think what we would do, we would probably start it from, like... Probably it would be like, whoop. Yeah, it'd probably start from there, right? I didn't mean to extrude just there. Let me try that again. Yeah, we're going to have to fix that a bit. And the tongue would stop there. Clear the sharps. Whoa. Who's in control here? Ow, please stop, no, ow. Make that shorter. I gotta enter focus mode now. See ya. Tits. Why? Why do you do this to me? You know, it'd be one. It, it, it would be some shit if I uh, I got like uh, Twitch marked for for saying bird tits on stream. It would be all of your faults, every single one of you. You know what you're doing. Big mommy bird tits. <laughs> I fucking can't with this. Big birdie milkers. <laughs> Big birdie milkers, goddammit. Mmm, <laughs> big birdie milkers. God. Like I, I like when I do things like that, I have to turn the the echo on. Like I just have to. Can I? There we go. All right. All right, make that smooth. Where is that? Uh, smooth face, there we go. Yeah, that's pretty good, I think. 
The echo makes it for sure. You have earned yourself a new Discord name. God damn it. Great. <sighs> Alright, that's pretty good. All right, how many edges is that? Two, okay. All right, I kind of want to get like a bit of a plumage thing going on right now. Where is it? Sculpt, there it is. We're going back to here, and we're going, and we're bringing back the wireframe. Where's the smooth brush? Come on, give it to me. There we go. Oh yeah, let me. Hit me up with that Discord. Uh. That one's going to be, uh, the one that, um, uh, Sam Squatch is talking about is, uh, me and my friend's personal Discord. It is, uh, unrelated to the one that is in my Twitch down below, which is the PlayStation 1 graphics thing. Uh, do you use the tablet for sculpting or is it mouse for everything? I use, um, sculpting, I use mouse for sculpting, uh, mainly because I don't need, uh, I don't need the, um, um, precision of the tablet for this because I'm just sort of doing some very very basic adjustments nothing too uh, extreme so no I don't really use the tablet for sculpting Do I need to start start a GoFundMe to get my my boy a tablet? No, I already got a tablet. You don't need a you don't need to GoFundMe for a tablet. Although, if I did have a tablet, you're gonna excuse me for a second. I probably yeah. Sorry about that. I, I was plugging in my auxiliary cord. Where's my phone? Oh, Jesus, I should have muted my. Give me a second. Oh. Where is my goddamn phone? There's my phone, my cat's sleeping on it. There we go. Ugh. Yeah, X-Pen. Yeah, X-Pen's a, a cheap replacement for Wacom. I had an X-Pen a while back, but it uh, the cable stopped working. Like the plug-in port was broke. Yeah. Jesus. You know what? Give me a second. I'm going to... I'm going to see if... Do I, can I mute this? I'm going to try plugging this in without causing... There we go. Yeah. Sorry. That was me plugging in audio hardware, and that has a tendency to just really cause problems. So, uh, one thing that I do have, uh, and I, I've shown this off before, but I have an audio mixer, and... Um, I can uh, do noise, I can do sound stuff with it. So, um, it's basically like my own personal uh, audio soundboard. So I can do stuff like uh, this. Of course, I have to get things uh, lined up first before I do it. Otherwise, it doesn't really work. So, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to play you some sounds here. That'll be good. Oh, no, it's an ad. Ah, fuck. Never mind. Fuck you, YouTube. <laughs> that was dumb. Give me a second. But I'm up. I'm gonna pull that out. Yeah, I need to actually get like a dedicated sound 
like a soundboard app on that if I actually want to use it for anything. Like if I if that's what I planned on doing, that's that's how it would have to be. But yeah, other than that. So that is copyright, you cannot play that here. Do you work in EV or cycle? I work in EV. Gotta head off, catch your round, sickly. See you, everyone. See you, bone broth. Get your sleep in. Take a look at some more birds. Because I want to put him in like a, a doublet or some kind of vest. Maybe something along the lines of this. And I'm kind of trying to imagine where. How's the spider situation? Uh, I haven't seen a spider in a while. Here, let me give you a spider update. I'm going to open up the window. That's a stink bug. That spider's catching stink bugs. It's doing a good job. I approve. That's a good spider. You know what? That spider's fine by me. That spider is a bro. I agree, Necromancy Black. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put him in a uh, doublet. And... And if I'm gonna put him in a doublet, I think... Whoa, not that. Doom blamp. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take some of the back of his feathers here and pull that down. No, not Mark, Sh not Mark C, Mark Sharp. Nope. Let's get rid of that C, there you go. Have you named this crow? I have not. I don't know why I always pronounce it that way. Alright. If you want to throw a name at him, go. Go for it. Gyalf. Alright, we'll call him Gyalf. Name's Death. Literally the first thing that I thought of. Alright. We're gonna have to give him a body now, so we're gonna have to think about a bit of human proportions. Uh, okay, let's bring that in. Oh yeah. How many edges is that? Let's see, that whole side and that side. That is seven edges, so that's a total of 14 total going around the entirety of that. Let me just delete that bottom side there. Yeah, we'll worry about getting the feathers set up right when we get the...
I just hear a fucking like scooter out, out outside. It's going fucking mental. Man, that's a really fast weed whacker. Ignore that. <laughs> Alright, I'll try. Sorry, sorry, Justin. On a funnier note, do you ever rage quit on art? Not really. I don't think I get angry enough to to rage on art. Not really. I raged quit games. It's a different story. Oh no. Oh, I've been angry. I need to pop my back. Also, you like my Agritsuko shirt? You're from the U.S.? Yeah. You want my social security number, too? That would be nice. And credit card information. Hello, we would like to call you about your card's extended warranty. The front face looks like an Oblivion character. Yeah. It's probably also the uh, Oblivion music doesn't help it much either. I'll probably add like like some some texture cards around his neck to add to the feather featheriness of it. I think that'll help a lot. But as of right now, we're probably just gonna work on getting the shoulders set up and good. I just realize the music. <laughs> Yeah, funny you mention. What's a texture card? Basically, it's just like this. See this feather? I would. This is a. This is a texture card. This is what I would consider that. People use it for hair and shit. That's uh, something they use texture cards for, like for. Yeah. yeah, like a like a like a strand of hair. Yeah, something simple like that. Okay. 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 All right. I think for the shoulder, let's pull this on a bit. Wow. Wow. Is this from Lord of the Rings? Are you talking about the music? No, this is, um, this is, uh, Elder Scrolls. Ah! Ah, oh, thank you, Patch KJ. Jesus, there, I've got, I've got a shitload of followers recently. I think it's because I'm being a lot more consistent. It's probably, it's a, a lot easier to catch me live nowadays.
All right, let's bring that area in a bit. I tend to... Ah, no! There we go. Like, there's a ridge that runs in your spine that kind of is kind of indented a little bit because it's uh, surrounded by musculature. So that's kind of what I'm doing there. And I think that's where the elbow, the shoulder would start. This crow's a chad. Oh yeah, walking through here with fucking big dick energy. Ah! I hurt my fucking mouth. I hurt my, like, I almost had a cramp in the underside of my jaw. Like, uh, like it hurt right here. Yeah, that's where the shoulders would be. Whoops. Do I have do I have clipping? I do. Okay. What? Oh, that's what I saw. There was a face there. News to me. There we go. Uh wait what? No, it's really do the there we go. Again, let me hit some of that. That looks like shit right now. Ah, oh, Jesus, I gotta... I gotta shape this area up. Oh, no. There we go. I had some shoulder mass to this fella. Nice try, anyway. Where's the draw brush? Gotta make him a big fella, I think. I gotta look at a little bit of uh, human musculature to make sure I got something down. To make sure I'm uh, being a slight, at least slightly anatomical. I'll, although I guess it kind of doesn't really matter all that much because I'm going to be putting clothing on him, right? Uh, you know what? Let's cut that out a bit.
It's the top of the chest, right? Let me see here. Sure, here for like the chest just to give me an idea. There we go, that's that's more like it. Oh, I forget to place the 3D thing. There we go. Alright, let's indent that in some more. I saw On Thin Dice. Uh, what's it? What is it about? Uh, on the On Okay, On Thin Dice podcast is a tabletop RPG podcast where me and uh, three other friends uh, play a tabletop RPG game. As of right now, uh, we're currently focusing on Call of Cthulhu, which is an HP, which is a uh, engine that is built to be a horror game. So we are currently uh, role playing. Uh, an H.P. Lovecraft story, essentially, is what we're doing. My friend Jared is running the game, and um, hilarity ensues as we uh, fuck around in 1920s America. That's essentially uh, the gist of that. So, uh, if you enjoy me, uh, then maybe you might enjoy the podcast, I don't know. Trying to think about muscular trail that you can embody. I'm trying to think about it. All right. How long have I been streaming for anyway? I did have to chat. Okay, it's an hour and 33 minutes. All right. Not bad. I still got 30 minutes. That's pretty good.
things considered, I think that's pretty good. Oh, Jesus. And I could nap right now. I really could. Oh, man. I want to flip my hair this way, right? Let's go crazy. I don't know. I've been looking at the mirror lately, and I've been thinking I'd like my hair parted in the opposite direction that I normally part it. Of course, since I had gelled my hair to go one way, it's going to be a... It's not going to look so good going the other way at the moment, because it doesn't want to go that way. You like them? Like what? You have silky hair? You want some? <laughs> I can send you an envelope. What's the secret? Yeah, it's shampoo. You got it. You, you, you found the secret. I just natu I just have very naturally uh, fine hair. I don't know what to tell you. It's also the lighting, too. Yeah, fuck, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna slick it back. There you go. supposed to work at all. I don't really do much anything special with my hair, not really. Could bring that out. Hey, you weren't supposed to be selected. Do you think Blender will um, have any modeling tools upgraded in the near future? I, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm not really paying all that attention to it, really. May have updates in the future, maybe. I don't know. I really don't. Okay, bring that down. Basically, what we're doing here is we're kind of making a sort of onesie shape. So that way we can have um, the topology to make the legs. It's kind of how I do my legs, based on an tutor old tutorial I saw. Okay, that's eight edges. That's pretty good. Let's not do that. Let's scale back down like that. And this is the top. Of the... There we go. You know, there really should be another ring. There we go.
Did you study anatomy at some point when learning how to model? Uh, a little bit. It, it's it's always good to know un, know and understand what kind of shapes you're trying to make because uh, you're working in a 3D uh, venue. You should know how to uh, make those shapes. Oh, dummy thick. Oh, God. <laughs> ah, Colonel. I'm trying to sneak past the guards, but I'm dummy thick. Huh. I probably should have added more topology around the pelvis so I could have had so I could have had a better leg shape. I still might do that. There we go. Mm. God, fuck, I don't know. There's a fuck, like, there's a really big thigh gap that that should not be. That's necessary as well. Okay, let's... Smooth that area out a bit. Do some smoothing. Make him twerk for us. There's terms of service for Twitch, you know that, right? Number one, no, no, no crow twerking. It's it's up there. It's number one. here very soon I'm gonna to have to message a friend because we were supposed to do a, a, a call because we were I was gonna show him how to do a texture painting uh, because we're working on a project together and he needs to know how to do that and uh, he's a stubborn bastard and didn't want, didn't want to get blunder even though that it's free is how it be so uh yeah, very soon I'm gonna have to go and um, work on them, work on him with them. But uh, 
I'm going to at least finish out this stream, which I normally stream for about an hour. Well, not hour. I, I stream for like two hours. So I'll finish out like the next, you know, 15 minutes or so. I'm gonna finish out the legs at least. I think the knee would be about right there. Whoa. Here. Do I have? I think I have a reference uh, image over here I can look at for human musculature. Whoa. There we go. Well, I probably brought this over too much, actually. You know, that's a thought I had. Hold on. Let me look. Let me look at bird legs, right? Because I think we might. You might do something. I'm. Mm. Go back. Go back. Go back. There we go. Yeah, they bent forward like that. They have in they have inverted legs like that. So I think I might do something along those lines. So what would I do to get that effect? kind of uh, we're gonna bend the leg a little bit and then we'll have like his little legs or whatever Let's see how this works Where would it, where am I gonna look? Um, let me just look at those those whiteboard pictures again, maybe. It's not a separate thing. Oops.
Eh, I think I made it a little too thin. There we go. Whoopsies. I keep doing that, even though, like, all I have to do is do this. All I have, all I have to do is click the whiteboard. And I just keep fucking it up. Mm, that's a good picture right there. And, yeah, the feet are pretty goddamn big. Jump. Uh, how many times should this bend? I don't know. Whoops. What the hell? I didn't mean to do that. One second, acts like. So my uh, my zoom thing popped up and I had to. One second, I gotta reset this now. All right, and then zoom. There we go. Fixed it. All right. So why does it keep doing that? Could you? Please, I. Uh, I think it's some kind of hotkey that's bound to zoom. That whenever I try to hold, it's causing me problems. I'm just gonna. I'm just not gonna worry about it. All right, so back to the whiteboard. Where are we at? Right here. This is the one I was looking at. Okay, it would be one bend. I think that right there would be the joint. And then talons. And that's some sharp-ass talons, too. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. Actually, I don't need to do that. We'll just... There we go. And then we'll find the smooth option and just pull that in like that. I think I'm gonna have to edit this by the normal, just to keep it in place, just to... Hmm, actually, I don't think I need... I'm not gonna do that. I think it's out of alignment. Also, my headphones are going to die. I, f I was afraid that they would die because um, I would use them all day. I went, you know, I went out and went to the gym and shit. That looks bad. 
And you gotta keep your talons. Talons nice and trimmed. I guess. That's what I think. Sharp. Bam. That's for the foot. One, two, three on this side. Well, oops. Uh, I'm trying to think. So if I if I do that and put those there, and I bring this one forward. No, if I bring this one forward, it's just gonna have one side. But it's just, yeah. So as of right now, it has two sides, so. There's two sides, there's two sides. Alright. Good. So these need to be more front and center. And this could probably come out more. And this can come in more. Bring that over. Eh. Slide that in, scale that down. There we go. Trying to do a clever way to export extrude these without having to do them individually. Let's just scale that out a little bit, scale that out a little bit, scale that out a little bit. There we go. Now I can just select all of these and just go at it. Whoa, wrong button. How how long do I want them? That long? Yeah, it scales that out too. Toes, yep, it's them. There we go. There we go. Scale, whoa, come on. Whoa, I hit F. I did not mean to make a face there. Scale that in there. You know what? Let's do a slight bevel. Scale that in as well. Oh, there went the headphones. Well, I guess uh, I'm going without headphones for a while. The music's so soft that uh, you can't really hear it in the mic, I don't think, anyway. So let me just 
properties. Now I'll just set that as the default. It might be a bit louder now too because it's uh, set to a different one. Let's go back to Oblivion, Am Oblivion Ambience because Skyrim might get be cop uh, get me fucking copy my cop copyright struck. Cause that's cool. We love it when that happens. Thanks, Todd. Alright, let's. Okay, it's on smooth. Go for it. There we go. That's pretty good. Not sure if I want to make those even longer. I think I kind of want to make them a bit bigger. sure I got everything from that. Are those on the same axis? A little bit. Huh, that inadvertently being shorter, didn't it? Rotate that a little bit towards. There we go. And that's not what I wanted. View. There we go. Set that to normal, and yeah, wait. Ah, there we go. Let's get those around the same axis. There we go. Swap that back to local. And that. Oh, nope. Clear, sharp. There we go. That one 
probably needs to be rotated. Uh, there you go. You know what? I haven't. I feel like there are some areas down here that need to be merged. There we go, that's where they all were. Let's turn on auto merge so I don't have to worry about that. Considering that th these things have fucking talons and have big ass weird feet, uh, what's well, gonna have to happen is it's, um, there's no way that they'd be able to wear, like, boots or anything that's, you know, along these lines. You'd probably have to, uh, have something specially tailor made. So, unless, you know, other than that, they'll probably just have, like, uh, foot wrappings or something like that. Damn it. Give me the global. There we go. Whoa. Give me these and let's move those up. There you go. things considered, I think that's pretty good. It's not fully done yet. What the hell is that? Is there a sep I think there's a separation of material here. Yeah, I think what's happening. All that area there, that extra shiny stuff is probably using the um, 001 material. Yep, that's what it was. Well, if nothing else, um... Select this area by sharp, hide that, and select this area. We can assign that that material just because you know it's a shinier thing. It's got you know, it's like hard and whatnot. I think that's pretty good. Right, I think that's a good stopping point for me. I finished off the feet and the body, and I'll move on to doing the arms, and once we do the arms, we can do the, um, the clothing, and then once we get the clothing and the texturing and all that shit down, we do rigging and all that stuff. This is a far more interesting model to me than that axolotl I did earlier. So that's a plus, and with that, I think I'm going to go, but before I go, I think I should probably do something else. Why don't we try raiding again? That was a fun thing, right? Who's live? I think some, I think Niche Niche uh, raided me last time, and that was nice. I'm not sure who's, um, yeah, they're live. Oh shit, who's that? I can't remember the, uh... I can't remember the other person I raided last time. I should have checked to see if they were available. But, hey, you know what? Let's return the favor, right? We'll just raid them. Yeah, I'll, I'll continue this next stream. I think this is a, a really fun model and a really good one.
So I'll actually continue this one. I've done a few times where I would stream and I would make a model and I would really like it and I would stop. But I think this one is actually something I'm going to work on next time, which will be next this upcoming Wednesday. So I'm going to do Monday, Wednesday and Friday. That's when I'll stream. That's what I'll do. So, um, all right. Why don't we do a raid? Here it comes. We're gonna raid this uh, niche niche character. She uh, raided me last time, so uh, let's get going. Boom, let's go. Thank you. And with that, I'm going to uh, head out now. So, see everyone. Good.